been apart too long. You deserve the very best now. It's time to write new stories. Let's get back where we belong. Everything is in place, ready. The team, the machines, the pressure, the pulse, the striving beneath the surface. The strength of the squad behind your handlebars, feeling every twist and turn in your body. Gearing up against the odds. Visor down. The future is calling. It's time to race. Accelerate to the good times. crucial part of our story, and we will seek to reward your loyalty. Are you with us? and we will win but we did a we did a good job especially in sepang here in mandalika suzuki works quite good we improved our bike compared last year the, the engine is working a little bit better still the aero is we are not at 100 percent 
but we did a, a good test, so I, I feel ready. We are close, I feel good with the bike. Um, every, every exit, uh, I feel that I'm more prepared for, for, for Qatar. Um, honestly, uh, every, every exit that I do, I feel a little bit better, I feel a little bit more comfortable, and, and this is the most important thing on the test. Uh, when when we tried the soft tire at the at the end of the day, I could feel straight away quite uh, strong with that tire because we were uh, doing a lot of laps with the medium one today, and there's a huge step compared to that one and and the soft. The important thing is that when, once you, you put the soft, you feel that difference of tire. Before probably we struggle a little bit more to find that difference. Today uh, now we we can feel more. Yeah. Thanks for both rider and all the crew doing good job these five days for testing. Then uh, finally uh, we could do good preparation for fast race. So uh, I'm looking forward to do the race. Logistica un team GP abbastanza complessa considerando che quando ho iniziato nel lontano 95 il materiale dei team era poco, adesso serve tantissimo spazio. Però alla fine se dietro a un team c'è una buona organizzazione con delle persone che hanno passione e voglia diventa anche quasi semplice. In Europa abbiamo i camion che portano in giro gara per gara il materiale. Noi del team abbiamo quattro camion, un camion che trasporta solo e esclusivamente la parte tecnica, o meglio le moto e tutti i ricambi, l'altro camion invece trasporta tutte le casse con il, materi il materiale per assemblare il box. In più abbiamo altri due camion che sono dei camion supporto e quindi servono esclusivamente per trasportare il forklift. Quando arrivano tutto il team, ci mettiamo a fare diciamo, il montaggio, il setup del box, quindi vuol dire che eh, entrare in un box eh, completamente vuoto e quindi cercare di arredarlo tra virgolette con la nostra immagine dei pannelli, eccetera, eccetera, ci vuole circa 4-5 ore. Per quanto riguarda le overseas invece bisogna programmare con molto anticipo la spedizione in modo tale che quando si arriva sul circuito, il container, bisogna essere sicuri che il materiale è là, altrimenti non potremmo neanche partecipare alla gara. Spostiamo circa 10.000 kg via aerea e ne abbiamo 5.000 via container. Alla fine eh, il lavoro duro è quello della Dorna, il lavoro più impegnativo. Il nostro lavoro è quello di assicurarsi che tutto sia all'interno delle casse.
Uh, well, today we um, is a completely different condition like uh, yesterday on the race. So um, honestly, I, I would like to to have uh, more hot temperatures today, but uh, I think that was a bit the opposite. No, uh, today the, the wind is cold. Uh, it's a lot uh, colder than than yesterday, and uh, and we we just uh, focus to to try to to make some steps forward with with the bike. Uh, I think uh, we improved a couple of corners that yesterday I, I struggled, and uh, this is uh, important. Yeah, sincerely, I'm quite happy because uh, the evaluation of today uh, was uh, was a good day. Uh, I mean, we we tested not new things, uh, used things that we tested in in some uh, tracks uh, from Malaysia, uh, Mandalika, and and this kind of uh, in Qatar, the, the first circuits. And sincerely, regarding the feeling from yesterday, we we tried some different setup and uh, the bike was better feeling no i mean uh, was i was able to ride more uh, like with my style and the, the feeling come back so i'm i'm quite happy for for this and the team as always is working very well we didn't have too many new parts to test but of course there's always the possibility when you have a full day testing or do comparison with the different setup and uh, I think both riders found something that was uh, better. Uh, of course, it's difficult to compare today's test with yesterday condition because uh, the, the tarmac is uh, temperature is totally different, but still the feeling is important and uh, we look forward to, for, uh, for Le Mans. quite good to ride this bike on this truck. I try to get him better and better. In the beginning I tried a John Deere position, exactly the same as a John Deere. Getting used to the bike, also the position is helping a lot. Successfully, I can say I do the race in the MotoGP. I'm quite happy to finish the race. Uh, now, now I can say you know MotoGP rider. But actually, I'm surprised that when I come back into the box, everybody <laughs> clapped the hand, screaming something. Nice feeling. This is our last test of uh, this year. Uh, we finished completely good and uh, we tried some item for hardware. It was originally 
item for next year, but we anticipate to try, then it was good. And uh, some kind of the spec of rear device and uh, confirm some uh, aerodynamics, then we finish completely today. Positive day, uh, of course, uh, some strange that uh, <laughs> because next year won't be here to Zuki, but we are testing because uh, it was planned uh, to test uh, some new parts uh, for the last uh, six races. Uh, the test went well. Uh, the, um, Alex is, uh, is happy, he also take advantage to do some more back-to-back uh, -back with uh, the former aerodynamic package and confirm that it, the, the, the new one is better. Uh, on the other side of the garage, we welcome uh, Dominica Eger. It was a kind of present for his Moto2 title, and uh, we were here with the bike here, the team here, so he said, why not? And anyway, it's always, you know, like we have seen uh, in this week, and when you need to replace a rider, it's always very difficult. Uh, so it was a good chance uh, for, uh, for Suzuki, but also for anybody else, uh, to see that uh, Dominique is a, is a good potential, he did a very good job. Uh, so very happy, he's a nice guy, and uh, it, was, uh, it was fun. Today we make a, a different plan as we were uh, used to it. Uh, I only ride in the morning because there are not many parts to test. All, all what we need to test it uh, is already tested. Uh, with Japan we decide to just ride in the, in the morning. And sincerely there are things that were working good. There are things that we confirmed with the old parts that we did a, a good choice. And, and that's all. It's the, the setting from here from uh, Misano after Riding all the weekend is, is nice. Looks like today the, the track was more grippy. So, so yeah, overall I'm, I'm happy with the, with the test we did. Yeah, it was just an amazing uh, opportunity, a, a dream come true. Yeah, very great people around in, um, in the garage. So they explained me a lot. And for me it was everything new, a lot of power, a lot of new things. And uh, yeah, the, the bike is amazing. This year I, I went to race the Dakar and then USA and uh, for me this is one of the biggest surprises that my, my life has given to me and I'm so so excited and so proud. Looking the bike from the outside, uh, I mean on track, the bike is really really easy to ride. Got a lot of uh, corner speed and uh, a lot of stability. I think this is one of the best bike of the championship, so I'm uh, really curious to see that this bike. I think I will enjoy, and uh, this is the, the first target to enjoy riding this weekend. I had uh, really a strong relationship with the Suzuki team because uh, with them I share a lot of moments uh, outside the track. I always look at this team like uh, uh, target as professional because everything is so precise and they are so careful in every detail. I never seen a team like that. For me it's a big honor to, to ride uh, with this team and I'm really looking forward to work with uh, all the people. I left uh, the hotel uh, in Alabama 6 a.m. In the, in the morning, Monday morning and I took a flight from Atlanta to Seoul, six hours to Bangkok. I slept there and uh, Wednesday morning I took a car and I drove five hours to Bullram. Long trip, but for ride this bike, I, I yeah. even uh, came here with a uh, with boat. I must say that uh, this is the, maybe, I don't know, uh, compared to Dakar is more or less the biggest challenge of this year because uh, starting a MotoGP weekend with a completely new bike, new team will be, will be tough. I haven't the chance to get prepared so well physically because I'm at the end of uh, 
two season in one because when I quit MotoGP, I went immediately to the Dakar in the off season, and then I just finished the Moto America season. This is, uh, let's say, the last sweet moment of this two year, and uh, I don't have enough words to say thanks to Suzuki again to have given me this chance to ride this bike. I miss a lot of uh, relationship. For sure, uh, was very demanding to to ride in a MotoGP in uh, all the championship. For this reason, uh, last year I recognized that for me was too much after 10 years. But for sure, you can say no to this kind of uh, question. <laughs> for sure, a uh, big vacation <laughs> next. Some free time at home and I still haven't decided which is the, the, the next target, but at the moment I'm so tired that I can't, uh, I can't decide at the moment. Hello. Let's race. We are ready. <laughs> I like a lot the, the, the Suzuki fans, they are always really loyal to the brand. For me, it's uh, one of the most important things in the sport, that people push yourself to be better, to be faster. It's unbelievable all the support we receive from the, from the fans. We saw many, many fans in the, in the grandstands giving to you this, this extra boost. They never give up. We never stop feeling your warmth and we will take you with us until the final flight. Thanks Suzuki fans, we will never forget you.